Welcome to the Al Jazeera channel where you will learn inventory management as a core operations management activity. In the first video of this series, the inventory ordering policies are discussed. One of the issues addressed by these policies is how much to order. This question can be answered by using the economic order quantity models. The economic order quantity models identify the optimal order quantity by minimizing the sum of certain annual costs that vary with order size and order frequency. Three order size models are there. The basic economic order quantity model. The economic production quantity model. And the quantity discount model. The basic economic order quantity and the economic production quantity models were explained in the previous two videos. Now the quantity discount model will be discussed. Quantity discounts are price reductions for larger orders offered to customers to induce them to buy in large quantities. For example, a surgical supply company publishes the price list shown in this table for boxes of gauze strips. Note that the price per box decreases as order quantity increases. If quantity discounts are offered, the buyer must weigh the potential benefits of reduced purchase price and fewer orders that will result from buying in large quantities against the increase in carrying costs caused by higher average inventories. The buyer's goal with quantity discounts is to select the order quantity that will minimize total cost where total cost is the sum of carrying cost, ordering cost, and purchasing cost. Thus, TC equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q plus P multiplied by D. Where P is the unit price. When quantity discounts are offered, there is a separate U-shaped total cost curve for each unit price. Including unit prices merely raises each curve by a constant amount. However, because the unit prices are all different, each curve is raised by a different amount. Smaller unit prices will raise a total cost curve less than larger unit prices. Note that no one curve applies to the entire range of quantities, each curve applies to only a portion of the range as illustrated by solid lines in this figure. Hence, the applicable or feasible total cost is initially on the curve with the highest unit price and then drops down, curve by curve, at the price breaks, which are the minimum quantities needed to obtain the discounts. Even though each curve has a minimum, those points are not necessarily feasible. For example, the minimum point for the $1.40 curve appears to be about 65 units. However, the price list indicates that an order size of 65 boxes will involve a unit price of $1.70. The actual total cost curve is denoted by the solid lines, only those price, quantity combinations are feasible. The objective of the quantity discount model is to identify the order quantity that will represent the lowest total cost for the entire set of curves. Let us now solve an example. The maintenance department of a large hospital uses about 816 cases of liquid cleanser annually. Ordering costs are $12, carrying costs are $4 per case a year, and the new price schedule indicates that orders of less than 50 cases will cost $20 per case. 50 to 79 cases will cost $18 per case, 80 to 99 cases will cost $17 per case, and larger orders will cost $16 per case. Determine the optimal order quantity and the total cost. The givens are, the demand D equals 816 case per year, the order cost S equals $12 per order, the carrying cost H equals $4 per case per year and the purchasing price is illustrated in the table. The first step in solving this problem is to find the common minimum Q which equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H. Substitute by the given values, Q equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 816 multiplied by 12 divided by 4 equals 69.97 approximately equals 70 cases. The next step is to calculate the total cost corresponding to Q equals 70. At this quantity the unit price is $18 per case as 70 falls in the range of 50 to 79 case. Known that TC equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q plus P multiplied by D. So, the total cost at Q equals 70, TC 70 equals 70 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 plus 816 multiplied by 12 divided by 70 plus 18 multiplied by 816 equals 
Because lower cost ranges exist, each must be checked against the minimum cost generated by 70 cases at $18 each. In order to buy at $17 per case, at least 80 cases must be purchased. Thus, the total cost at 80 cases will be, TC80 equals 80 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 plus 816 multiplied by 12 divided by 80 plus 17 multiplied by 816 equals $14,154. To obtain a cost of $16 per case, at least 100 cases per order are required, and the total cost at that price break will be, TC100 equals 100 multiplied by 4 divided by 2 plus 816 multiplied by 12 divided by 100 plus 16 multiplied by 816 equals $13,354. Because 100 cases per order yields the lowest total cost, so, ordering a quantity of 100 cases per order is the overall optimal order quantity. And the corresponding total cost is $13,354. Let us now solve a problem. A mail order house uses 18,000 boxes a year. Carrying costs are 60 cents per box a year, and ordering costs are $96. The following price schedule applies. Determine the optimal order quantity and the number of orders per year. The givens are, the demand D equals 18,000 boxes per year, the order cost S equals $96 per order, the carrying cost H equals 60 cents per box per year and the purchasing price is illustrated in the table. The first step in solving this problem is to find the common minimum Q which equals the square root of 2 multiplied by D multiplied by S divided by H. Substitute by the given values, Q equals the square root of 2 multiplied by 18,000 multiplied by 96 divided by 0 0.6 equals 2,400 boxes. The next step is to calculate the total cost corresponding to Q equal 2,400. At this quantity the unit price is $1.20 per box as 2,400 falls in the range of 2,000 to 4,999 boxes. Known that TC equals Q multiplied by H divided by 2 plus D multiplied by S divided by Q plus P multiplied by D. So, the total cost at Q equal 2400, TC 2400 equals 2400 multiplied by 0 0.6 divided by 2 plus 18,000 multiplied by 96 divided by 2400 plus 1.2 multiplied by 18,000 equals $23,040. Because lower cost ranges exist, each must be checked against the minimum cost generated by 2400 cases at $1.20 each. In order to buy at $1.15 per box, at least 5000 boxes must be purchased. Thus, the total cost at 5000 cases will be, TC 5000 equals 5000 multiplied by 0 0.6 divided by 2 plus 18,000 multiplied by 96 divided by 5000 plus 1.15 multiplied by 18,000 equals $22,545.60. To obtain a price of $1.10 per box, at least 10,000 boxes per order are required, and the total cost at that price break will be. TC 10,000 equals 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.6 divided by 2 plus 18,000 multiplied by 96 divided by 10,000 plus 1.1 multiplied by 18,000 equals $22,927.80. Because 5,000 boxes per order yields the lowest total cost, so, ordering a quantity of 5,000 boxes is the overall optimal order quantity. To find the number of orders per year. Simply divide the yearly demand by the optimal order quantity. That is equal 18,000 divided by 5,000 equal 3.6 order. One solved example is explained and another problem is solved to illustrate the quantity discount model. So, the question, how much to order, is answered. If you need more details or more solved problem do not hesitate to contact me. In the next video, the answer of the question, when to order, will be explained. Hopefully you can make use the economic order quantity models by yourself. If you like this video so press like and share it. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Goodbye.